was called uh, John James Noonan and he was born about 1892 and died in 1968 and when he was in his early 20s he signed up as a private for the Leinster Regiment. I joined the town because I wanted an adventure and I wanted to piss off the old man and I wasn't sure I'd pass third year like Agony. He arrived at the end of the Battle of the Somme, November, and about six or seven months after that, he was injured. Shrapnel wound was all I got. A big lump of shrapnel ripped through my right calf. Nothing serious, but when you're a private, there's no rush, no rush. They had to amputate his leg, and then he woke up in a morgue. They thought he was dead. So he survived, and he was shipped back to London. And then on to uh, the Limless Soldiers Home in Bray, where he stayed for a few years and he learned carpentry skills. That's probably where you got to make that stick. Mr. Daly! My God, you're only having the one, by the Why can't you just be normal? Huh? For Christ's sake, why can't you just keep it in your head and don't be always talking it? Why can't you just be normal? Normal, Mick? What's normal? Well, it's definitely not the queer little one like a prick in front of me, so it's not. Mick is a, he's a curmudgeonly old sod. You'd wonder at times why he went into this business. He inherited the bar, I suppose. But it seems to, it seems to be more trouble to him to keep it open than it is anything else. But I think part of it is he, behind, behind all that, he has a great appreciation of, of human interaction and character. You can't hurt the dead. They're resting, as you said. Nothing deafer than a dead man. An expert on everything and anything except keeping your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he lives for the fights that he has with Johnny and he also recognises the entertainment value. Long John Silver over in the corner there. Seems to know the ending to every story except your old story. Only the Grim Reaper knows that. The moving finger writes and having writ moves on. Not all thy wits nor piety shall lure it back to cancel half a life. There lies all hard. You'd get barred for singing in a pub in Dublin these days, so it's got very, very bland. And people would say that there were probably a lot of characters who would have been in the bars in the olden days who would be much... Would be, would, they'd give any television a run for their money. And uh, what comes out sometimes people don't want to hear. Uh, simply because I go through the experiences of the war and things like that, you know. The Royal Irish, the Black Watch in their kilts, the Cameroon still clutching their bagpipes, and some of them with no bloody heads left to blow it. Nobody wanted to kill. O'Leary didn't want to kill. Shooting at their feet, we were with our eyes closed with a Lewis gun. We just wanted it to be over, to stop the pain, the filth, the madness. In communities, they can absolutely absorb or sometimes accommodate people who are a little bit, um, don't fit into the, 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 the particular pigeonhole that people need them to fit into. Those days are kind of slipping away now. I could always talk to me. She was always her own woman, always herself, May was. Gorgeous afternoon that was. That afternoon was better than any sweethearts and letters touched to your chest. <laughs> no such thing as a sure thing in this life, for we are no more than a moving row of visionary shapes that come and go. I am quoting from the great Omar Khayyam, in case any of you buffoons are interested. <laughs> He was one of those men, I imagine, as well, who just absorbed knowledge and education at any hand's turn. So that's like a, a kaleidoscope that bursts out of him with a deep frustration of uh, probably that everyone has near the end of their lives, that they end up in a corner in a chair, brighter than anybody, but they're not listening to him. The truth is always better than the fairy tale. Joseph, saving a young girl from being stoned. A young girl that was raped, most likely. Jesus Christ! No, that was her son. You're running ahead of me now. Once I actually started to write the play, 
it actually was almost like a seance experience. It, it was literally voices in my head. Johnny, for fuck's sake! Just a man of hope, take or die, and I know all you can do is calm the nerves. Nothing like a song to forget. 